Okay, I'm going to try the bonus room part again. I ran out of storage space on my camera. This is the bathroom, David. The vanity, the upstairs bathroom, bonus room bathroom, van will be right there. The toilet will be straight ahead. And there is the shower. And in, I just want to tell you, in Charlie's bathroom, this shower stall was just a fiberglass shower stall. Um, JB is going to fully tile this entire bathroom so it's of the same quality tile as the other bathrooms. A question he had though, he only has in the budget for a shower curtain on the shower stall and this decision could happen way down the road or to buy a glass enclosure for the shower stall. That's a question we have to ask. Now looking over to the closet, Remember, we modified the closet to have, let it have a lot more storage. This is the closet. Walk in and you'll have your clothes. And then this is the storage space. Even back on that shelf, you'll have storage back in there. You'll be some weird angles, but it'll still be for just storage of odds and ends and different shaped things. You'll have a long storage closet there. I think that was a really good idea. And these are the pocket doors assemblies. So these doors will slide in and out so they don't come out into the hallway. Same with your bathroom door. Okay, and then uh, there'll be a, a bench right here, a dressing bench right there, right next to this. So as you're standing to dress, this will be the view you can look out and see. I'm going to walk over to the master bedroom. There is the bench, the dressing bench, that will be built in. And there's your two closets. I don't know whether you can make out the trade ceiling. There is the trade ceiling. These uh, round circles will be where your speakers will be. And in the middle, your, uh, I guess, ceiling fan or, or ceiling light. There is the jacuzzi tub that's been installed where your vanities will be and then there is the bench on the right side of the side of the shower you have a shower head opposite the bench right there your controls are on that wall they're not allowed to be on this wall you can see the way they've insulated the pipes to protect them from freezing on this outside wall and loss of heat as well probably mostly for loss of heat and there's the control for the other shower head, which will be right there. And there's the bench. There's the toilet closet. Your front door, which you've never seen installed, it has been put in. There's a light above it. And there's how the framing is for the posts that go all the way up on either side. And this, where the broom is right there, will be your closet for, guest closet for hanging coats going in and out of the house. The uh, windows have been installed in the study above the other window. Remember, those came in as three separate units and JB had them returned and brought back as ganged units and there they are they're installed and over there is the closet that you chose to put in and it's really a pretty big closet for storage space and utilized even the space here in the corner that was totally lost on Charlie's house there's the run for your ductwork is hidden behind this closet 
and then you walk out of the study and then you can go into the bathroom here and in this bathroom rather than a bench all the way across the back which really I did I never did like the other house we've put a bench on this side of the bathroom of the shower stall and there's your shower head there so I'm just going to stand here and just pan around the room over towards the kitchen that'll be the kitchen pass through you see the arches the light fixtures above the arches the the main arch anyway there's your speaker frames that Jim put in and if you look through the top lights you'll see the speakers outside right there and over there and this deck out here David is just really really nice the windows open here you see how smooth the wood is just really really nice and I think I told you the quality of these windows is a lot better than what was at Charlie's house well I'm going to stop this for now hope you have a good weekend this weekend David